everybody and welcome back to another video of Lego Chess for Jacks. And as you can see, this word system. Maybe it's backwards for you. Is it? One sec, guys. No, I don't think it would be backwards to you, but it is to me. Well, anyways, today we have my oldest Lego set I've ever had. Now, are these my oldest Lego pieces? Probably not, because I'm, I've got a whole bunch of Lego sets from yard sales too. But this is my oldest complete Lego set, and also it's a system set, which makes it even better. It's from 1999, original Obi Wan, an original Luke, and a land speeder. The reason I got this was because uh, I wanted to do a comparison of all the land speeders, but. Let's go ahead and actually start off with the box. This box looks really small, so. I mean, everything's small. The camera blows up everything. So I'm just saying, if you guys ever order this at, and there's a tiny box, uh, if you order it off of Amazon or even eBay, and it's small, shake it around a little bit, and then you would, unless if you bought it used, then it would probably more than likely already be built, but then you would hear, I'll try to make a, you hear that sound, you could still hear the radio, but anyways, this is a really small box. I bought this set used, and all the pieces came surprisingly, it was only 37 bucks. I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and buy it, and if uh, not all the pieces are there, I'm like, so be it, it's only 20, 30, 37 bucks, but this has the original Star Wars logo from 1999, set number 7107110, land speeder for ages six and ten and the reason i oh this is only 47 pieces and it goes for 109 bucks sealed in mint condition really why though because it has desirable minifigures because it's from 1999 because it's a system. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Like, you could barely see the piece count. And then the age also looks different. But that's what the side has. It actually shows a different angle of the minifigures. And at the top is all that legal stuff. Then at the back, it actually shows a different build from that. But that's really the box. That's that's actually exciting. Um, Kind of, actually. Uh, but then next up, we'll actually review the minifigures. Sadly, I do not have my stands. I said, guys. Yeah, I lost all my stands. Yeah, I lost all of my stands. I don't know where they all went, so... I guess I'll just have to hold them. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Uh, but Obi Wan, oh, but Obi Wan Kenobi actually has really simple torso printing compared to nowadays. But in the olden days, in 1999, when this came out, this was like the most detailed thing you could get. And then it has the really old hair piece, and then like these figures are yellow, and almost every single figure that I have is well, you know, like the tan. Like, if their characters are supposed to be yellow, then they're yellow, but I'm just saying, like, characters that are tan in their franchise or, like, skin tone. Um, yellow hands and a yellow face. And the face... Alrighty, sorry about that, guys. A phone call happened. Alrighty, well, anyways, back to the Obi-Wan figure. Like, back in the day, this was really detailed. Um, but nowadays, it's, like, super... But this is the, in fact, the original Obi-Wan Kenobi, as you can see. And also, one of the best parts of the set is this chrome lightsaber hilt. So, the reason they stopped making these is because the paint chipped off easily. And now it's just the silver, or like a chrome silver. But this is chrome. Well, not chrome. I don't know what to call it, but it's like a shiny, really shiny. Don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm trying to get it into the light. Do you guys see that a little bit? Anyways, same blade they've always used, actually. And what really annoys me is that in almost every land speeder set Obi-Wan Kenobi comes in, they show pictures with only him with the lightsaber. I wish they included two blue lightsabers. 
Uh, but anyways, next figure is the original Luke, Luke Skywalker. And you guys can't really see it, but there's a coffee stain on the top of his legs, which I don't necessarily mind since I got it used. All the figures came in, but I probably would never resell this set. It's already been resold twice before. So, like, when I actually went back onto the Amazon and looked in the description, it was, like, used by two owners before me. So, this guy's, like, really old. Like, a whole bunch of people have had this, honestly, which is kind of cool that this has been handed down to a whole bunch of people, which also means that a whole bunch of people spent a whole bunch of money. So what happened originally was somebody bought it, kept it sealed forever, someone else bought it, opened it up, sold it open, somebody else bought it, sold it open to me. I probably will never resell this, so that would be the end of the family line. But then once this one's canceled, once this one doesn't continue going, there will probably be more that or continue going but that doesn't matter we're talking about luke he has the same hair piece as obi-wan but uh molded in a different color he kind of has a simple smile but it, like not a normal smile but in the camera it looks like one but really like the cam the lighting is just all messed up but really he has angry eyebrows and like a little chin too um, and then also the torso printing is actually pretty good and he even has leg printing which is awesome there's no back torso printing, obviously. What would you expect in 1999? But I'm just glad these aren't stickered torsos. Could you imagine if I got a printed one in these, like a non-printed minifigure? Like, that would be so rare. But they'd probably never resell it. Uh, but anyways, let me move the instructions. I was trying to do another video, uh, but that was canceled. But uh, here, here's the actual build, which... Usually, from 1999, when you snap the pieces on, it would make this cool clicking sound, which I was kind of excited for. But since it's used, all the pieces were worn down, so you wouldn't hear a clicking sound. Maybe with... Nope, no more clicking sounds, but... I heard that this is what it would sound like. Like that, but since it's used, it's not. And these pieces, I am not familiar with. Like, these are, like, you see those? Those are not, like, the normal engines that they use on these. But anyways, there's actually no storage compartment on these things. Which, actually, funny enough, this came built. So, I legitimately don't know how how the build was. Because I didn't build anything. I only put on these two engines right here other than that. But I don't think there's any hidden storage like there usually is nowadays. I'm just trying to see. No way, guys. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that, but you could take chrome. You could, oh, shoot, I almost lost the lightsaber. But you can actually fit the lightsaber in there, which I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be for, but it actually fits in there. And that's how that was built, just simple. And then put that back on. And then there's actually two seats. I don't really like this red detailing because I don't think... I mean, there's red detailing, but this red just looks weird. Honestly. But it's not bad. I could deal with it. I honestly really like the set. It just seems incomplete, though. Like, there's all these studs showing, but with the new ones, it's more smooth around the whole thing. But then there's this windshield with where the new ones, you could stick the hands under the windshield. But this one, the windshield is so low that you have to put the hands on top of the windshield. And then also something else that's different is right here where the, like, engine type thing is on the new ones. It's only one of these grill pieces instead of stu t two studs and then a flat piece on top. Um, and these are actually two different pieces here, not one piece. Um, oh, and then there's actually a giant base plate on the bottom. I might take this apart and just follow the instructions to have the same building experience as everyone else who had this before me. But probably not also. It's already built. I mean, it came in the box built. Besides, it's only 47 pieces. I think what really takes up all the pieces, like, what takes up the most space is this. Okay. So that's basically everything for this. Of course, there's the two chairs. What else did I miss? Oh, actually, on the side for, like, that reeling, they use these, like, weird pieces. I don't know what they're called. Uh, but anyways, that is the build of the set. 
since we already looked at a box earlier, we will be looking at the instructions. And the instructions are actually bigger than the box. You guys can see that. It overhangs by quite a bit. Uh, but let's see here. Are there any ads? Uh, there's a couple of different shots of the minifigures. Looks like they're alive. That's kind of creepy. Uh, and then actually, the background is all starry. And it also shows scenes of the land speeder. Funny enough, look at the top. Those are scenes from the land speeder from the 1977 A New Hope. Uh, and then there's even more shots of Tatooine with the land speeder. Um, and then at the very end, it shows you the other build. Lego used to do that. I kind of like that. Uh, but they don't do that anymore. I mean, obviously, if it was me, I'd just be like, all right, what's this? I think this is a Lego Mania ad. See that? Got some more on that side. These are kind of hard to do here. Um, since I don't, Lego doesn't put extra pieces of paper anymore. It's probably all going to be on computers from now on. You're just going to download the Lego app. And I have not actually opened up this ad yet, so I don't know what's inside of it. Oh, Rock Raiders was a Lego system set. Oh shoot, I might have to pick up some of those. I didn't know that. I thought there was like 2000s. But there's some ad for Rock Raiders. More ads for Lego Star Wars. Wait, there was an ad for some 1999 sets. Oh, here's some ads for 1999. Wait a second. Alright, uh, yeah, so these are the ads for 1999. Gosh, I keep breaking this. Bionica was around in 1999? Rock Raiders, really? I did not know that. Alright, well, anyways, on the back here, they've got ads for. Thrillbots? Wait. Okay. And then we've got. Below that, we've got the. Spaceport. Then we've got Johnny Thunder, I believe. Is that who that is? And who else? Uh, we've got Lego Ninja. And then we've got City Center. Is that the new, is that the old City Center? What else? There's nothing really else on this. Yeah, I know, but the original 1999 sets included an X-Wing, a Snow Speeder, an A-Wing, I don't know the names of these, so uh, I should have already apologized in advance if I got this wrong. But I do actually like the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy. Now comment down, one like equals me watching the prequel trilogy. Do you guys know what the prequel trilogy is? It is... Star Wars. Not really, not Star Wars. No, the prequel trilogy is not Star Wars. It's prequel, it's Star Wars, but not good Star Wars. Uh, but uh, George Lucas directed it. I think he should have just kept to all the actual props, you know, instead of going all CGI, which is rubbish. Honestly, the best of the prequels was Revenge of the Sith, really. Uh, but I honestly cannot believe that I am holding the two original Luke and Obi-Wans, the original Land Speeder, and the oldest Lego set I've ever had. And also, I wanted a system set for my birthday, but I never got it, sadly. But this was only 37 bucks used. All pieces were included. If I really wanted to, I could make the second build, maybe make another video on that. But there's no instructions on how to build it, so why the heck would I do that? So apparently, Lego has been not including instructions for a lot of things since 1999 so obviously lego start adding extra instructions to things oh my gosh well anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and put the chrome lightsaber hilt in here uh so that way it doesn't get all dirty you know uh one sec guys get out of there blade oh shoot the blade's stuck uh, don't tell me I have to break this thing apart. 
Um, I'm not sure if that's actually supposed to be made for storage or not. Uh, but this is a really old set, and I'm honestly afraid of playing with it too much because one of the pieces might snap. Uh, even ones from the 2000s are old now, 2009, one year before I was born. Here, let me put all the advertisements in here too so I don't lose them. And then I'll put them in my land speeder box. So that way, in case if I lose the box and I find the box, then I would know these would be in there too. So I'll just put this box under my desk where... You know what? No, these will stay on my in my desk. So that way... And then this will go down here. And there we have it, folks. 1999 Star Wars, oldest Lego set I've ever owned, oldest, oldest minifigures, first system set, obviously. Hope you enjoyed this video of Lego Chaser Jacks. Lego Chaser Jacks, signing off. Peace.